So, hey guys, if you saw my previous video, I showed you guys how to push this back into the socket a bit so it would stay in so it was a bit more comfortable. And it worked, but it was only temporary because it could only stand for so long and it'd, it'd probably come out again. So it kept falling out and it was a bit uncomfortable. So in my videos, there was actually a guy who recommended and he reminded me that I can actually get an RMA for the ear pads. So I contacted Corsair to see if my warranty still lasts and luckily for me, I still had it. So I contacted them and they sent me over these. They came in just a few days. Uh, it was pretty fast and these, they look pretty nice. So I, before I actually put them on, cause I didn't want to break this headset, cause I didn't know how to do it. I looked around on YouTube if there were any, any tutorials and I, I couldn't find anything. I actually found one guy who tried it, but he ended up getting really frustrated. So I kind of just let myself, let my mind wander, see if I could find any way to do it. And first I just took off this old earmuff, this, it just came off with a pry, it was really easy. And then I saw this and I thought that couldn't be normal because that doesn't look right, like the other one. So I think of ways to take this off, but it looked really sturdy. So grabbed a guitar pick and I just started going around the seams to see if there was anything, any clips. And I felt a few clips and I knew that I'm gonna have to put some force into here to take it off. So I went to this bottom part and I just kind of pried it a little and I just gave it a bit of force all right so now I got it pried off the clips they're very small clips and now you just kind of remove it you're gonna need some force but don't put too much if you feel you're gonna break it and now you can see these are the little clips right here and you just remove them so the, it's probably gonna be a bit dirty from the old adhesive so you could try cleaning it out a bit with like a toothpick or something else but I've already cleaned it. So now I take this one and yeah, I gotta check the direction. You kinda wanna make sure that it looks nice. So this little seam right there, uh, it goes on the bottom cause that's where it was on the old one. So I put it in place, line it up, make sure the clips are there and I just kinda give it a push. So it actually turned out to be quite hard. I could only get in about one side at a time. So what I recommend is just trying to get one slide side in. It's best if you bring it out a bit and kind of slide it into place. And then I took a screwdriver and, oh wait, let me just put that back in. I took a screwdriver and if you kind of just open it up a little here, you can see if you lined it up properly, you should see the clips. This is where they would be, right on here of the headpiece. So you want to align it back up. Once you feel one side click in, you want to just give it a little bit of pressure and then you want to take your screwdriver, push it in and push down on the clip. And that side's in, now you want to find all the clips. You could just see them, they're just a little bit of a dent. So I got it all in now. Like I said, you just need a small, thinner, flathead screwdriver. And you just need to find where the clips are, push down on them so they snap into place. And now you see, it looks just brand new. And yeah, this is all you have to do to make it look nice again. Alright, so that's all you need to do. And I really like this headset. It's, it's, it's really affordable and the sound quality and the feel is just really nice. And I also want to say, with this old one that I took off, you just take this and you put it right back in here and you use some, maybe some strong glue to glue it back into place. You just, you just got a new pair. Um, I don't know how well it would work. I, I feel like it could work pretty well. So this is just in case these ones break, which hopefully they don't. So I hope my video helped you. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. I'll try to respond to them and have a great day.